Discord is a text and voice communication platform. Every month, there's at least 25 billion messages sent. It's pretty cool, but often these messages can get a little toxic or harassing. We need Discord mods to save the day, but it's hard to have mods online 24 seven. There's auto mod bots like Dino, but these aren't very smart. In fact, all they can do is censor certain words. I wanted to build an advanced Discord bot that could automatically moderate messages and delete toxicity for me. To do this, I decided to use something magical, artificial intelligence. If you didn't know, Discord has an API, which is something that allows software to communicate with each other. For example, if we wanted a Discord bot to delete a message, we can communicate with the Discord API and tell it to delete a specific message with a specific message ID. In practice, this is what it would look like. First, a user will send a toxic message. Then our Discord bot will read this message, and if it finds it to be toxic, it's gonna delete it. This brings up a question, how do we know if a message is toxic. To answer this question, I decided to use Google's Perspective API, which is an advanced deep learning model trained on millions of messages. So if we try saying something toxic like, I think you're stupid, haha, Perspective API will label it as a percentage toxic. Then our Discord bot can decide if that percentage is enough to delete the message. So this brings us to the core of the project. How are we going to build the bot? I decided to use Discord.js. Discord.js is a Node.js module that allows us to interact with the Discord API. I decided to use it because it's one of the most popular modules when interacting with the Discord API. In addition, I've built multiple bots using this language before. Discord.js has something called a message event. The message event is emitted whenever a message is sent in a Discord server. Now, what I wanted my bot to do is take this message and read the content of it. Basically, whenever a message is going to be sent in the Discord server, we're going to read the content content of it, and if it's toxic, now we're going to figure out how to delete it. So I've set up a very basic version of the bot. Now what it does is whenever we send a message, it's going to reply to our message telling us what we just sent. The next step now is to read that actual content that we're replying with and instead analyze it for toxicity. Now, let's figure out how to analyze if what we sent is toxic. In order to do so, this is our code. Since not all of you will know JavaScript, let's explain it in a little bit easier way. First, we have a user sending a message. We're going to take the raw content of that message, which is just a message saying you are very dumb. Next, we're going to pass it along to Perspective API, who's going to calculate a toxicity percent. Perspective API is going to get back to our bot with a toxicity, for example, 90.1%. Then our bot's going to look at if the toxicity is greater than 90%. If it is, finally, we're just going to delete the message. For testing purposes, I made this neat little command called analyze. You can send a message such as hi using the D space analyze command. This will tell you the toxicity level in a percentage. As you can see, if you type something that's not toxic like hello, how are you, you get something pretty low. But if we slowly keep increasing the toxicity to something like I will everyone, we reach a pretty toxic level. So there's a slight problem. As you can see, the toxicity level was 89.59%, but my threshold was arbitrarily set to 90%. So I needed to figure out a way to round our numbers so we don't come across problems like this. Not gonna lie, this is a pretty easy fix. All I did is I used JavaScript's built-in math.seal command, and this function will basically round a number up. As you've probably already seen by now, I ended up naming the bot detox.ai, because it's like a detox talks, you know, except for a uh, Discord server. Also, only about 5% of you guys are actually subscribed right now, so make sure you hit the subscribe button because I do my best to make these sorts of Discord videos, and if you like them, make sure you consider subscribing. It's free, and you could change your mind later. All right, so Detox is around halfway done now, but one of the issues I'm encountering is Detox only deletes toxic messages. But if there's admins and moderators in the Discord server, they won't know that Detox has been deleting messages behind the scenes. For this reason, we have a channel called ModLogs. ModLogs is essentially a place where bots will send messages regarding what actions they took in the server. Every server will have a different mod logs channel. So what I did is I made a setup command for the bot so that when the owner of the server sets up the bot, they can specify the channel that they want the mod logs to be put in. 
In this setup, I used a reaction listener, which is where the bot will look specifically for the user who's setting it up to react with an emoji. It really does make an interactive Discord bot setup that even newbies can use. So this is our setup command in action. First, the user will send the setup and the bot will respond asking the user to react with the check mark if they want to continue. Next, the bot will ask the user to tag a channel where they want to send the mod logs in. I'm going to tell it to temporarily send mod logs in admin chat. However, later on, I can change that to a normal mod logs channel. Next, if we try sending a non-toxic message like hello, the bot will do nothing. However, if we send a toxic message, the bot will automatically delete it and do two things. It's going to send a message in our mod logs saying what it did and the user who wrote the message. And it's also going to DM the offending user and tell them what they did wrong and why they shouldn't do it. So far I've been running detox on my PC, but this isn't sustainable because if the bot gets into let's say 6,000 servers, I can't just keep my PC on the entire night. We're now going to be looking at some cloud techniques where we can host our bot online. This way it can just run 24 seven in the background. All right, so for storing the different mod log channels of the various Discord servers that the bot's in, I decided to use Cloud Firestore, which is a service by Google's Firebase. And before the developers start heading down into the comments and saying things like, oh, you know, Rishab, Firestore isn't scalable because once your bot gets into a thousand servers, you're not gonna be able to keep up with all of that data and it's gonna start costing money and whatnot. Well, I do have another bot that is in 6,000 servers that's using Firestore and it actually actually happens to store a lot more information than just a log channel. So we're definitely gonna be okay for now. For hosting, I'm using a service called Heroku. And again, before the developers start heading down into the comments, let me just tell you guys that I have linked a credit card onto this account, so I do have enough hours to last me the entire month. In addition, Heroku's servers for free only offer 512 megabytes of RAM. So when the bot does get bigger in the future, I will be migrating it to Google Cloud platform. Since I still need one minute of free watch time, I've challenged my Discord server to say the most toxic things they can and try to make Detox detect them. Unfortunately, it looks like I'm trash, but Detox is doing a pretty good job at flagging messages. Before you guys leave, I have one really important thing to say, so please stick around for the next 30 seconds. This was the most fun video I have ever made on my YouTube channel, and I really want to keep making these types of videos. So I need your guys' help. Make sure to subscribe and hit the like button so YouTube promotes this video more and I can keep making content just like this. If you guys want to test out Detox.ai yourself or invite it to your Discord server, check the description down below. I've left a couple links for you. If you have any suggestions for Detox, I definitely want to hear them, so feel free to leave a comment down below. With that, I'll see you guys next time.